Coming up, I test the Chameleon Tactical Delta Loop Antenna. Is this antenna a good choice for portable operations? Well, we'll take a look at this and find out on the next episode of Ham Radio Q&A. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. If things like that interest you, you can do a couple of things for me. First, like and subscribe. That really helps the algorithm. And also, check us out on Patreon. Patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over at patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Recently, the folks at Chameleon sent me this antenna for review. It's the Chameleon CHA TDL, or Tactical Delta Loop Antenna. This is a multi-band HF uh, antenna designed for portable operation on the 80 through 6 meter bands. Well, Chameleon uh, did supply me with this, this product for review. Uh, these opinions are my own and uh, no way influenced by the company. Delta loop antennas are a variation of the traditional loop style antenna. Uh, with a loop antenna, wire is strung in a horizontal plane. Uh, in a length of about one full wavelength of your lowest operating frequency. Uh, the the antenna is going to be in sort of a square formation with each side of the antenna approximately one quarter wavelength each. Delta loops on the other hand are typically a vertical style antenna. Uh, they're three-sided so each leg is going to be one third wavelength and uh, that triangular appearance is, is where the name Delta comes from, where the, um, such as the Greek letter uh, Delta, which is sort of shaped like a triangle. Ta Chameleon's tactical loop consists of the following pieces. Uh, first, uh, we have the transformer. And Chameleon supplies their uh, hybrid micro 5 to 1 transformers with the uh, tactical Delta loop kit. Uh, this is the hybrid mini transformer, which is a little bit uh, larger and a, uh, has a little bit greater power handling capability. And we'll talk about that in a minute, why, we, why, why I've got this transformer. Uh, next, uh, there will be two uh, stainless steel whips, each 17 feet long. And you also receive a 25-foot uh, uh, piece of wire with clips on the end to clip on either end of the uh, stainless whip. And then the final component, the final two components are the hub. Uh, the hub is, is a piece of a machined aluminum where the uh, sta uh, stainless whips will screw into along with the transformer. And then at the bottom, the spike mount will screw in to the, uh, to the hub to give you uh, one big antenna combination. Not only does Chameleon um, sell this entire uh, kit all in, all in one piece for the tactical delta loop antenna, but if you've already got the uh, Chameleon M-Pass 2 uh, antenna kit, you can purchase just the uh, hub and the wire along with the two stainless steel whips uh, to convert your uh, M-Pass 2 into the uh, tactical delta loop. Uh, using these two components. In these two components, you will supply your own uh, transformer, like the Hybrid Mini or the Hybrid Micro, and uh, your own spike for the Delta Loop antenna. And that's why I'm using the Hybrid Mini transformer rather than the Hybrid Micro. My m kit has the larger Hybrid Mini, uh, but either the Micro or the Mini is gonna work uh, with the Tactical Delta Loop. The only difference is that the power handling cap uh, capability which is higher with the Mini than it would be with the Micro. But um, using the hybrid Micro, Chameleon uh, rates the antenna at 100 watts single sideband or about 50 watts for CW and uh, the digital or data modes. The antenna can be deployed in a couple of different ways. Uh, first off, as a ground mount mounted inverted delta configuration. This is gonna be the most common uh, con configuration or deployment that you'll see. The hub is screwed into the ground spike, and then the uh, whips are, are screwed in on either side along with uh, the transformer. And then the whips are extended, and the uh, wire is clipped on the top of the whips, the little balls here of the whips, and the, you have your full uh, delta-shaped uh, loop antenna. A second version of this would be instead of ground mounting the antenna, uh, you can elevate it. A Chameleon states that elevating the antenna will increase its performance and slightly lower the SWR on the upper bands 
but that's going to be at the expense of portability. I did not try the antenna in the elevated position, but that is certainly an option uh, for deployment. Finally, if you forego the hub completely, uh, you can uh, connect the one of the whips to your hybrid micro and then use this uh, 25 feet of wire as a counterpoise and you've got a vertical antenna uh, just like the uh, Chameleon M-Pass uh, vertical. I found uh, that the overall setup of the antenna is to be relatively easy. Uh, the easiest method to deployment, deploy it is to screw everything into the hub and then screw the hub into the ground spike and um, take that unit and, uh, and uh, fix it or spike it into the ground. At that point, uh, you can carefully you know, ex extend the whips part, part way, uh, take the wire, clip the ends of the whips with the, uh, with the alligator clips on the end of the wire, and then finish carefully extending the whips until, you are, until they are completely extended. At that point, the antenna is deployed. Uh, to uh, retrieve the antenna, you just do the same thing in the opposite. You carefully retract the whips, uh, disconnect the wire, uh, w uh, wind this back up, and then just unscrew everything. In testing the antenna, the first thing I did was to connect it to my Rig S Expert antenna analyzer. Uh, this is going to be a non-resonant antenna, uh, and since it relies on the 5 to 1 uh, matching transformer, uh, you're going to need a tuner to uh, match the impedance of the antenna for the transceiver. The SWR, for the most part, stayed below 3 to 1 on all of the amateur bands uh, between 80 and 10 meters, and uh, typically hovered around 2 to 1 to 2.5 to 1, uh, de depending on, on conditions. Uh, bandwidth was tight on the lower bands, but it did cover the entirety of the higher bands. Deploying the antenna in an elevated position is going to uh, lower the SWR, and you might be able to get by actually using it without a tuner uh, in the elevated position. But uh, the advantage of using a tuner is that uh, band hopping is easy uh, because you don't need to do any further adjustments uh, to the antenna. Just let the tuner do all the work. The tactical delta the loop is a directional antenna. Uh, so you're going to want to leave enough space in your deployment in, in order to rotate it. Uh, the RF energy is going to exit the antenna sort of broadside of the antenna. So if uh, the antenna is oriented north-south, uh, the RF energy will go in an east-west uh, pattern. Now we did test the directivity of the antenna on the 20 meter band and found approximately a 1 to 2 S unit difference in signal strength as we rotated the antenna. Uh, but we also found that band conditions can also sort of affect uh, the signal strength readings and the directivity. So don't expect really big gains in directivity uh, in, with this antenna. We also found that directivity is more pronounced on the higher bands uh, than it is on the lower ones. On 40 and 80 meters, uh, this, the RF radiation takeoff angle is very high and uh, the antenna operates more as an NVIS or near vertical incident skywave antenna. Uh, 40 meter and the 40 meter NVIS qualities are quite pronounced and I found that in using the antenna on the 40 meter bands I could really pick up uh, closer stations to my location than I would normally hear with, an, with, any, other, with any other style of wire antenna. The 80 meter performance, on the other hand, is not very good. I was expecting even better NVIS capabilities, and I was hoping to wor work more in-state stations with it, but unfortunately, this was not the case. Uh, I put the antenna on my home station to kind of check the uh, uh, capabilities and to use it on our local uh, Aries Races HF net on 80 meters. Uh, that day, there was an S7 noise floor between uh, the tactical delta loop and also I was receiving that same level of noise with my reference antenna, which was a G5RV. Uh, compared to the G5RV's uh, signal quality was, was, was definitely less. Uh, on the tactical delta loop with the S7 noise, I was hearing stations right at the noise floor, but with the G5RV S7 noise, stations were popping up above the noise floor S9 to 10 over 9. Chameleon acknowledges in, the, in their documentation that 60 and 80 meter performance is limited, so uh, be aware of that. 
But on the higher bands, the antenna is really a winner, especially on 20 and 17 meters. Uh, a couple of tests I received excellent signal reports on the 20 meter band, and also on 17 meters I had um, excellent, excellent uh, propagation and strong signals and contacts on that band. I was really surprised with its 17 meter performance. I didn't try it on 15 or 10 meters, but I imagine when, when you get a 10 meter band opening that this antenna will probably work extremely well on the 10 meter band. So here's my rating of the Chameleon uh, Tactical Delta Loop antenna. Out of, the, out of a scale of 1 to 10, uh, I will give uh, build quality for this antenna a 9. All of the components are quite rugged. They're, they're uh, solidly constructed, uh, you know, parts that are machined out of aluminum, uh, stainless steel. Uh, these whips are very, uh, very uh, solid. They feel sturdy. I've seen some other uh, extendable collapsible whips of this size that are not of the build quality that these chameleon whips are. So really, all in all, we're, you know, we're talking, we're talking uh, high quality materials in the production of this antenna. Setup and teardown, I'm gonna give it an eight. Uh, it goes up fast and it, and it also comes back down uh, very quick. Uh, there's a fair amount of parts that you have to uh, work with and sort of assemble in the field and um, while it's not overwhelming to keep track of all of them, uh, you might want to have some kind of a, a bag or something to sort of store the parts in so, so they, don't get, they don't get lost. Uh, but, and the other thing that we found, I found that uh, with the type of wire that Chameleon is using, you know, they're using a uh, Teflon coated uh, wire here. You know, sometimes you can get, you know, when you first start to wind it, you'll, you'll get some kinks, but um, as you work it one, a couple of times, uh, those kinks do disappear, and winding this line back up in sort of a figure eight uh, manner will keep the um, the, the memory the, the, will help reduce that memory and keep the kinks out of your wire. Out of the box operation, or what does it take to uh, get on the air after setup? I'm going to give that an eight. I'd probably give it a little bit higher marks, but I'm knocking it down a point because you do need a tuner for operation. Uh, if your rig has an internal tuner, that's great. You know, it's SWR is well below three to one, so the internal tuner will handle it just fine. Otherwise, if you're using a transceiver without a tuner, you know, say like the popular FT90, FT891, you're going to need an external tuner in order to use this antenna. Uh, if you put it in the elevated configuration, you might be able to get by without a tuner, but I. And, uh, but otherwise, you know, a tuner is necessary. I also think it, this antenna should be advertised as a 40 through 6 meter antenna and, and not really uh, promote it for use on uh, the lower band 60 and 80 meters because, they're perf because of that form performance on uh, the 80 meter band is just so lackluster. So who is this antenna good for? Uh, well, the, uh, the Tactical Delta Loop antenna has uh, rugged components excellent upper band performance and I think it's a good choice for uh, portable operations uh, primarily on 20 meters and above. Uh, it's a little bit on the heavy side so maybe not a good choice as a backpacking antenna but I think if you had the hybrid micro transformer instead of the hybrid mini uh, you could certainly pack this antenna into say a summits on the air uh, activation. But otherwise, uh, Parks on the Air, I think it's an excellent choice, especially if you're in a field uh, that doesn't have any trees or structures to hang a wire antenna on. Uh, so you could use this to a great advantage in, um, in wide open spaces or, or, or places where uh, support structures are quite limited. So my final words. Um, I'm really impressed with this 17 meter performance of this antenna, and I think that's it's that the Tactical Delta Loop is a winner on that band. Uh, I can't wait to try it out on 10 meters. I, I got a feeling it's gonna be a good 10 meter antenna. Uh, it, it does require a little bit of space to set up, but um, especially if you wanna be able to rotate it and um, use some of that um, directivity, uh, but you know, I'd be willing to use this antenna for a portable operations if I didn't have access to trees or, or, or things like that. Uh, if, you, if you already have the uh, Chameleon uh, m 2 kit, uh, you know, the hub kit, you know, purchasing this hub kit uh, and, and a couple of these whips will add, uh, 
add a lot of extensibility to your um, MPAS 2. But if you're looking to purchase either an MPAS 2 or the Tactical Delta Loop, I would probably lean towards the Tactical Delta Loop over the MPAS 2 uh, because you get uh, most of the components in the, M in the Tactical Delta Loop that you would need with an MPAS and then just sort of add the extra wire segments a la carte to give your Tactical Delta Loop the MPAS ca uh, capabilities. So what do you think? Uh, do you have any questions or comments on Chameleon's Tactical Delta Loop antenna? We'll leave them down the, uh, in the comment area below. I'll filter through those, try to answer them, and who knows, you know, maybe your comment will end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Uh, but for more articles and information, antennas for sale, check out my website, www.jpol-antenna.com. If you support this channel, drives production of future videos, so you can do a few things for me, like and subscribe, and also check us out on Patreon. Patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over at patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, kb9vbr. Have a great day and 73.